Welcome again. This lecture is of particular importance because in this lecture we are going to solve page rank algorithm for the sample network we have got over here. So just to give you a quick recap, in the last lecture we generated this matrix A from this network and we resolved the issue of having a complete row with zeros. For that we replaced the whole row with 1 by 6. So let's just continue with how it's going to be solved. This is the formula that is being provided to us in the initial page rank algorithm that using the page rank values of all the pages in the previous iteration multiplying it with A transpose is going to give us the page rank values for the current iteration and then putting them back in this equation is going to give us the values for the next iteration. So the process can continue and in each iteration the values are going to get refined. But the problem is we need to have a starting point. So for that we have assumed that P0 is going to be our initialization and we have assigned a page rank of 1 to page 1, 2 to page 2, 3 to page 3, 4 to page 4, 5 to 5 and 6 to 6. As we said earlier these initial values do not matter for high number of iterations as the values are always going to arrange in the order that they should be using the page rank algorithm. So next we have taken this matrix A that has this issue resolved and we have taken a transpose of it. Now for those of you who do not remember what a transpose is, so we are converting the rows into columns. And doing it for all the rows, we have got the transpose of A and now we are ready to continue with this multiplication and that is going to give us our new page rank or prestige values. So using this equation, we have P0 using these assumed values of page rank for all the pages. We have got A transpose from the network structure and multiplying the two is going to give us the page rank values for the first iteration. So if you multiply this matrix with this vector, these are the modified page rank values for all the pages. So we initially assigned a page rank of 1 to node 1 and it's being modified to 1.833. Similarly, we assign this a page rank of 2 that has been gone up to 4.33 and all the values are adjusted accordingly. To this one, we have assigned a higher value and it has gone down to 2.1. So the values are going to adjust by themselves. In the next iteration, if we provide P1 and multiply it with A transpose, that is going to give us the page rank values of all these nodes for the second iteration. So over here we are repeating the values using all these page rank values that we have got from the first iteration and multiplying them with a the matrix that is not going to change and this has given us the values for P2. So the values keeps on changing and the same way using the values from P2 is going to give us the values for the third iteration. If we keep on continuing this, so skipping few iterations in the middle, if we look at P9 iteration, that is going to use P8 and is going to give us the values for P9. So looking into the values of this iteration, we have got this one as the highest value. So this is our rank 1. Then we have got 6 as the second highest value. So this is our rank 2nd. Then this is the third highest value having rank 3. Then we have 5 at rank 4, then we have this one as the 4th highest value, then this one is the 5th highest value, and then we have this one to be the lowest value. So this is the ranking that the page rank algorithm has suggested. Again, considering that particular scenario of a query, if the query is given and all these pages are relevant to the query, they should be presented in this order. That is, first we will have page 2 then page 3, then 1, then 5, 4, and then 6. So these are the nodes and these are the respective page rank scores. According to this ordering, node 2 should be the first one, node 3 should be the second one, and so on. So these are the values that we just saw in the previous experiment and this is the order that is being generated. Now let's just conduct another experiment and compare the values. In this experiment, we have reshuffled the values. Like over here, we have the initial value for page 1 as 1. But in the next experiment, we have assigned a score of 4 to page 1. 
uh, to node 1 and 3 to node 2. In this way, all the values are reshuffled. Skipping few iterations in the middle, and these are the scores from the ninth iteration. So, node 1 has got the page rank of 4.55. So, if you compare it with this one, the values are almost the same. Node 2 has got a score of 9.24, and over here, the values are again very much similar. And over here, we have got the score of 6.9 which is again quite close to 6.8 and this way the values are quite similar and the ranking is exactly the same as it was suggested in experiment 1. So this is the beauty of the page rank algorithm that whatever your starting point is it is always going to converge to that stationary distribution after which it's hardly going to make any change. We are only considering the first nine iterations. If you go to 100 and 200 iterations the values are going to get even further closer. In the third experiment, we are using a completely different range of values. We are assigning all the nodes to have the initial page rank of 100. Now with this one, the values are changed because we have completely taken them into a different set of values. But you would observe that the ranking is not modified. As you can see, this is the highest value. Page 2 has got the rank of 1. Page 3 has got the rank of 2 as the second highest value. Page 1 has got the rank of 3 as the third highest value. Then we have page 5 with the rank 4. 4 happens to be at rank 5 and 6 is at rank 6. So the ranking is still not affected and the values are modified because we have a different set of values. And now the values have rearranged themselves in that particular range so that we can get exactly the same order as ranking of these nodes. Now let's just look at another very exciting aspect of the page rank algorithm. Let's say we assign values to all the nodes in such a way that they all sum up to 1. Over here we are exactly dividing them by 6 so everyone is getting the 1 by 6th part equally. So whatever the arrangement may be but if all the page ranks are summing up to 1 then after every iteration they are going to sum up to 1 and you can verify this it's going to be very close to 1 and this is now even better because if we look over here we know that node 2 has got higher page rank than node, node 3 or node 4 but we do not know how much this difference is because the values are not in any particular scale so we do not know whether this difference of roughly 65 score is good or bad but if we bring all the values to a scale of 1 now we can see that this score is 40% of all the scores that we have in the network this one is getting almost 20% of all the scores of the network so in this way we can see that what is the proportion of the page rank of a particular page considering the whole network to have a page rank of 1 in the next lecture, we are going to evaluate page rank for the same network using a slightly modified algorithm that was presented later on. So keep watching.